First of all, you have to understand the value of momentum. Momentum is the multiplier. Momentum is your best friend. It makes you look better than you really are. And if you can hit your challenges with momentum, what are mountains for other people will be speed bumps for you. And so the big mo, they call it. And you know, once you get that momentum, you never want to go back. You know, it's like if you've worked out at a gym for a long time and then you stop working out and you go back to the gym, then what happens is what used to be your warm up is now your max and you do not want to get to that position. So just stay focused on the activity. And if you do that, you know, it's like, it's, it's like persistence will get you the goal, but consistency will keep you the goal and keep your momentum. Yeah, he's 100% right. Consistency is what allows you to maintain momentum. But it's not just consistency alone, it's consistent quantity. So you've got to have a high enough uh, uh, 1-0 for yourself or goal or whatever that is, and be willing to increase that 1% every day because the goal of consistency, the goal of momentum is actually the compound effect, right? And the idea of the compound effect is getting 1% better every day. And the big mistake is that people, they do something called, I call spurting. They spurt, right? They go hard, they do something that they can't maintain, then they go all the way back and they have to keep restarting momentum. We certainly have done that in our life and it is really one of the most painful things that you can do no matter what it is that you're working towards. It's a start and stop, start and stop, start and stop. So developing consistency. Now, I don't believe you can be consistent until you're committed. And so being committed to whatever outcome it is that you're working towards, super important. I don't think you'll be committed until you have a reason to be committed. And it's gotta be something that you have to have. You have to be so hungry for it want it so much that you will fully commit so then you can be consistent to create not only create create and maintain the momentum that it's going to take because you won't get the multiplier like kelly talked about unless you stick with it which means you cannot be immediate results focused which is what most people can never get past getting through that consistency without seeing results but knowing that they're coming as long as you stick with it you create and maintain the momentum as long as you need, you know, for as long as it takes. And that's what commitment really looks like. And when you want to accomplish something big, you know, uh, the challenge is that when it comes to habits or doing things, if you do something that's not positive, uh, you get an immediate reward. And the benefit's really not in the, in, until the, uh, or the negative is really not until the future. So if you eat a donut now, you get an immediate reward. You're excited, it tastes great, you're like awesome. But if you keep doing that over time, in the future, you're gonna have a negative outcome. <laughs> but if you do something positive right now, let's say I get up early, I decide I was gonna work out, and then now I'm sore, I have less sleep, I, you know, I'm definitely not jacked after that first you know, workout, going to the car, I'm not ready to do a pose or anything. And the benefit is really not until the future. And so the, the, the hack for yourself is just to stay focused on that daily, daily routine, understanding and projecting what is this gonna produce in the future. Which is delayed gratification. And that the reason that most people do not have success in their life is because they don't have that reason why they are not able to delay their gratification for the results that will come, like he said, in the future based on what you're willing to do today.